Hey, it's Dr. Claw here with a quick tutorial on how to print your Gmail calendar to a PDF. So for the purposes of this class, I'm asking you to print out your, well, not to actually print, but to um, create a PDF of your calendars for each month of the semester that also shows the day view so that I can see where you've put different assignments on the calendar. So you can see here, I've got my uh, Clemson Gmail calendar queued up to August 2019. I've added in just a few little items like the English department has a retreat on the 20th and then when it's the first day of classes, last day to add a class, that sort of thing. These solid bars are things that indicate all day events. Um, so a lot of times I'll do that if, if there's like a deadline that day. So you could use that for a deadline for your scheduled task, um, you know, for a scheduled assignment you want to put on there. Or you can um, put a particular time on there and it will appear like this. So printing it is actually pretty easy, but it's helpful to see someone go through the steps. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you are in the month you want to be in. Um, and that you're seeing the month view. So you can see if you change the views around, uh, what you see will be different. Week view is great for kind of planning out your, your week on an hourly basis. Um, but for the purposes of this assignment to get that kind of big picture view of what you have due and when, um, it's useful to do the month view. And that's what I ask for in the assignment. Next, once you've ensured you're on the correct start month and on the month view, click on the gear icon, which is the settings um, menu go down to print. Now don't worry if you don't have a printer, you're not actually going to print out a piece of paper unless you want to for your own personal use. Click on print and then you've got to set the date range that you want. So for this assignment I ask you to print um, every month of the semester. So for fall that's August through December. So we're going to go August and just click August 1st until December uh, 31st is what I'm going to select that you can certainly select like the end of finals week, which I think would be the 13th. And um, I just left all of the rest of this as is. You can see now the total pages will be five. There's one month per page there uh, with some overlap, obviously, with the, um, the um, number of weeks on the calendar being different depending on how the month breaks down click print, and then your uh, computer system dialog will pop up asking you how you want to print it. I have already walked through this a couple times on my computer, so it's already set up to save as PDF. But if something else is selected, simply um, click the destination, so where are you printing to, and click save as PDF. Um, it will tell you how many pages it is again five that still looks good click save and then save it someplace you'll be able to find it so for me i've put it in a sample folder because this is a sample calendar that i'm doing so i'm going to click save and it's already existing so i'm, I'm just going to overwrite it and then i'm going to go over to that same folder that i just saved it in open it up and you'll see you now have a pdf with the um that well, the years will be complete with the assignments you've scheduled um, that shows you where things fall in every month. And this is a good way to keep an eye on um, what you have coming up and um, how it might fit in with other classes and other obligations you might have. So that is how you um, print your Gmail calendar to a PDF.